Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on to share some insights that have been coming through for me over the last couple weeks. Um, my daughter and my son go to public school and um, and I also have a full-time job um, that I must attend to. Um, and what's been really coming up for me is the idea and the understanding really that we are not as free as we think we are. So. I'm sure that you can relate if you are in any type of nine to five job um, or, or any job for that matter where you're not working for yourself, then um, you know your supervisor, if they change or they just change their mind, you know has the ability in many cases to change the way you do your work or you're able to do your work. Um, and also the public school system, although it can be great and offer so many uh, wonderful opportunities for children and, and a beautiful place for them to learn and grow and, and share um, their journey with other children. Um, sometimes things come up and it reminds me how we are not as free as we think we are and we do not have the control over our children's future that we think we do um, when we are participating in these type of programs. Um, for example, my daughter's teacher had decided to implement um, snacks, only allowing snacks to be eaten that are what she considers to be healthy, which may or may not um, coincide with what myself and my family considers to be healthy. And that's not really the point. Um, the point is that she was able to um, implement a mandate on snacks and withhold snacks from some children that were not um, bringing in the approved snacks. And I bring this up not um, not to complain or not to make people feel disempowered, but I bring it up because um, I think that many of us are kind of awakening more to our sovereignty and our personal power. And one of the early steps in that is looking around and recognizing ways that we're not free ways that we are giving our power away. This is not to say that you need to quit your day job or pull your kids out of public or private school. Um, I still think that both of those things are where my family is going to remain. Um, the benefits far outweigh the negatives for us at this point. Um, but I'm starting to really open my eyes and see what's going on very clearly. Um, and I want to inspire anyone going through something similar to kind of take a look at the situation and see what is it that you can do because there's always a choice. Um, don't ever feel like there's not a choice. I could pull my daughter out of school. I could request that she um, get a different teacher. I could, you know, discuss this with the teacher, which I did do, which was difficult. Um, and if I choose going forward, I um, may discuss this with the principal. Um, and, and state my boundaries and explain my concerns both for this particular incident and then just, you know, general philosophy of um, a teacher having too much control over a child um, and what they're eating, things like that, in the classroom. So I like to look at these events as an opportunity to ask yourself, are you standing in your personal power? Um, what are small things, sometimes large things, depending on your situation, that you can do to lovingly educate or, um, you don't want to stand on a soapbox and try and like educate people, so that wasn't the best word to use, but what are ways that you can lovingly state your own truth and stand in your personal power and enforce boundaries um, within your means while also loving and supporting everyone around you. So just uh, wanted to jump on to throw those situations out there um, and, and hopefully empower you to be more aware of situations going on in your life, big or small, where maybe you're not as free as you thought you were. Um, the first thing you can do is just start observing those things. Once you observe them, the next thing you can do is ask yourself, are there small changes that you can make um, or ways that you can be standing up and speaking your truth to people that you normally wouldn't? And what I found in a lot of cases um, is that 
if you're afraid to speak your truth and you're thinking that it's going to be um, negatively t taken negatively or not absorbed in any way um, and you've never tried it, I think it's worth giving it a shot because often people that you think will not um, want to hear it or 